Okay, so BuzzFeed. Remember BuzzFeed? <laughs> BuzzFeed has put out a new video on manspreading where a bunch of girls, at least I think this one's a chick, try manspreading for a week to remind us all once again that their life is so fucking easy that the way other people sit is a genuine concern for them. Manspreading is when a man spreads his physical body to take up as much space as humanly possible. Take up as much space as humanly possible? No, dude. Trigglypuff is when someone spreads their physical body to take up as much space as humanly possible. And what the fuck does spreading your physical body mean? As opposed to what? Spreading your ethereal body? Like when the ghost of Christmas past spreads his holiday cheer all over your face? Mmm, festive. My balls! I don't want my balls sticking to my legs! Yes, what bastards men are! What utterly deplorable scum for not wanting a pair of sweaty marbles clinging to the inside of their legs all day! I tell you what, why don't you dampen one of those shower sponges and dangle it from your lady cave for 12 hours? I guarantee you'll find closing your legs as about as attractive as French kissing a great white. Oh, and speaking of great whites... Donald Trump became president. I have so many vivid memories as a child of my mum telling me to close my leg. Aha, uh -huh. and were you by any chance wearing a skirt at the time? This week of manspreading is definitely going to make me feel anxious as much as a super strong feminist I want to say it won't. So you're saying you'll have to be brave to take up some extra room on public transport as though you've never put your bags on the seat next to you or put your feet up in an empty chair? <laughs> bitch. You do know that lying is a mortal sin, don't you? I kind of secretly hope to annoy some men. Look how determined she is to get a reaction from these guys. She's like, oh yeah, look at me manspread, uh-huh, in a public place, spreading my birth canal wide like a bad motherfucker. Look, my foot is touching your foot, bet you're gonna react any second now. Yeah. I just manspread on the bus for maybe a five minute ride for the first time and it wasn't even half full and I was already getting glared at so I think this is going to be a kind of long week. Right. First of all, bullshit <coughs> that you were getting glared at. A second ago, we just proved that no one else cares how you vapid fuds sit. And secondly, this counts as manspreading? This is what you're so worked up about? Jesus, titty fucking Christ, how unapologetically easy must your life be to get this worked up about nothing? Do $100 bills give you blowjobs right before awarding you the Nobel Prize for your contributions to obscurity? Whenever a woman takes up space, she's considered bossy, she's considered aggressive. Maybe a lot of the reasons why I do minimalize my presence is because I don't want to be perceived or engage with those stereotypes. It's very telling how you say women are the ones seen as bossy and aggressive when you have managed to turn the gender-neutral activity of taking up space into an act of war that men do to women. You can moan about how society perceives you and blah 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 all day long, but you're not the one who had to pay a fucking fine for sitting in a way that displeased feminists. What is it between their legs that's so important? halfway through the week and really not enjoying this experiment at all. That's because you're doing it wrong. Men spread their legs a little to make room for their balls, not lie across two seats. That's got nothing to do with being male and you know it. That's just being an asshole. Uh, correction. You are just being an asshole. Women are expected to be quiet, small and almost invisible. Uh-huh. Even though I'm a confident person, I tend to make myself small even when the situation doesn't call for it. And I kind of felt uncomfortable man-spreading even though there was no one around me. You felt uncomfortable spreading your legs for testicles you don't have? Wow, what a revelation. I had the exact same epiphany last time I shoved a tampon up my urethra. My favorite part of this exercise was easily when I got to sit next to men who were taking up way too much space and just forcefully work my way into the seat and without words say, hey, I deserve to sit here. In what way are any of these men taking up too much space? Like, 
Why are you having a go at them? If there's anything this video has proved, it's not that men take up too much space, it's that women are so protected in this society that companies worth nearly a billion dollars will pay them to whine about how the seating habits of others displease them. Seriously, at this point, even if these BuzzFeed bitches were living in golden palaces, every room filled with the rarest treasures on earth, and an army of servants and thralls to see to their every desire whilst outside the faceless masses spear each other with cocktail sticks to fight over last night's breadcrumbs, even then, they would still find the time to complain that this level of decadence makes them look fat. Okay, all hyperbole aside, I want to talk seriously for a second. I know manspreading can seem like just another fad to prove that feminism is all cray cray and shit, but this does have real life negative consequences. For men, it's a horrible message that protecting the most vulnerable part of their anatomy is no excuse for dissatisfying a woman and making her aware of you. Feminism, tired of its hundred year campaign to crush men's testicles, is now ordering men to do it for them. And for the young women who take on board the message that they shouldn't or can't ask a man to move up if he's taking up more than his fair share of the seat, they will become less independent, less self-sufficient, and more reliant on the state to step in and do things for them. This is a terrible state of affairs for her self-esteem, and it will make her feel weak and powerless, leading to even more dependency on the state, and then so on and so forth. Feminism is not empowering women, it is disempowering them, making them feel under constant threat. Of course, feminism's goal isn't really to make the average woman feel completely independent. If it did, what would they need feminism for? And then suddenly all that lobbying power would disappear. The best thing that women can do for themselves is take charge and ask the man to move up. Not sacrifice your integrity and cry, Mr. State, he's not sitting nice. Basically, this anti-man-spreading stuff is bad for all of us. For anyone who thinks it's just another stupid fad and it will pass, it's been codified into law in the most populous city in the country, and people are being arrested for it. At what point do you consider something a credible threat? It's about time we all said, you're drunk feminism, go home. <laughs>